Hey Vogue, this is Rebecca. Today I'm gonna walk three shows in Paris Fashion Week. You can come follow me while I do that. We are backstage at the Chloe show. This is my look. I've got a nice little pleated skirt, these high brown boots, a really pretty yellow blouse, and it like wraps around the neck with like a scarf. And we met Rebecca in Paris. Well, I did. And that's when our friendship started. What was your first show? Calvin. First show, we were walking on popcorn. You did that one too, yeah. right? How was yeah, so crazy. I was like, what? We have to walk on popcorn or like through popcorn. It was actually a lot of popcorn. It was like this much popcorn. But fall over? Anyway. No. I mean, no. You had to like kick the popcorn yeah. up like as like, if it was popping. Yeah. It was it cool. Was fun. This tends to happen backstage. You think you're ready and then they say you have to go back and do your hair again or makeup again. So that's what we're doing now. to make a quick stop and then go into Paco Rabanne. Uh, honestly, I love it. Can I please get a chai latte? Yeah, um, to go A coffee, yes, to go. Now we are at my agency, Women Paris. This is my agent, Osana. We're just gonna go over a few things. I never had a shoot with Michael Jensen, the photographer, so that I was like, you know, I hope it goes well. And he was so nice and yeah, it was just the best day, so. Yeah, it was such a good day. Yeah, and Osana came too, back yeah, to the set. And um, yeah, and yeah, it was really good. I, uh, I think it was like the best shoot I had so far. So far. Hey, now we're at Paco Rabanne. We're in this cool looking church thing. And how did you say it? La Conciergerie. La Conciergerie. I've done the Paco Rabanne show ever since I started walking shows. So I don't know how that happened. It's a show I always walk and I like it. The clothes are really creative, I feel like. And like the chain mail and stuff, I think I like that. Um, I'm from a town called Kingston in New York. I got scouted on Facebook by my mother agent. Well, I don't remember when, but I was like 15, I think. And I was in high school and I thought, oh gosh, that's super weird, but like kind of cool that someone would think that I would, I could be a model or whatever. So yeah, I responded to her and my mom and I, we like looked at her uh, website and she had this one model who was like walking a lot of cool shows and like doing a lot of campaigns and things like that which um, I didn't know what they were at the time but I had heard of some of the brands before you know like Chanel or like something like that so I was like oh wow this is legit and cool like let's meet her and like see what she has to say the mother agent in the last two years I've traveled so many cool places I've experienced a lot of unique things. I made so many cool friends, worked with a lot of creative and cool people. And I never thought I would like have success in this job. My first show, it was two years ago in New York. I walked Calvin Klein. I don't remember actually like walking in the show because I was super nervous. It's weird now when I like do, you know, three shows in a day, it's like, it's one little blip on like the fashion radar. But for me, it was like so awesome and cool. And I was like, I can't believe I did a fashion show. My agency called me and was like, hey, can you go to New York tomorrow and shoot this thing in Vogue Paris? And then I was like, yeah, I can do that. That sounds really cool. And then it was a hit. I've watched a ton of shows, done some really cool shoots, and now I'm on the cover of Vogue Paris, so that's awesome. <laughs> Yay! Right, so now we are at the last show for today, Isabel Morant's show, so let's do it. Wait, look at this. Salut! 
Ça va Ça va oui. toi On ne transforme pas trop la fille, on l'embellit. On pense qu'il y a de plus joli, on le rend encore plus beau, mais c'est pas trop difficile. When I was younger, I used to do gymnastics. I was like competing. And I have some really good photos of me doing it. That one. <laughs> And that one. The best makeup tip that I ever got. It's more of a skincare tip, but it's to like spray toner or like, you know, some kind of hydrate, hydrating spray on your face before you put on moisturizer because that way you actually get the moisture in your skin. Otherwise, it's just gonna evaporate or something. You have to like put on moisture and then put something over it. You wanna go and then I'm gonna finish up like no, I mean, one second. Well, we do a rehearsal with the shoes on so you can feel comfortable in the shoe on the runway and just see what it's like. So then the first time you wear the shoes isn't during the show. Please take your position on the lineup. We're going to do a little train. A very short angle. And remember to walk in the very middle of the runway. You ready for the shot? You excited? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Me too. How many bow covers have you had in your career? I think it's close to 60. Oh my god. One of my favorite things about Fashion Week is learning about um, what new innovations designers are using to become more sustainable. I agree completely. Like after you do a show, it's always really nice to have dinner together, to go out. Catch up. Catch up. Yeah. yeah so it's like you don't get to see your friends all the time. No, and like everybody's week. always working and now you're working yeah. together. So that's yeah. cool. Being with my friends. Yeah. And like a moment. Having, yeah. Having like dinners together when you can. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And yeah. you sort of travel together in a pack. Yeah, yeah. It's like a school trip or something like that. Right? Yeah. A really weird school trip, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone to dressing now. Okay, so that's a wrap with the backstage at the Isabel Moran show. I'm gonna go get into my first look. There's probably people changing, so you can't film in here. <laughs> the show's about to start. I'm in my look. I'm excited. It's gonna be super fun. So. A strong work, fast, a lot of energy. When the music beats down, just keep working fast and strong and with a lot of energy, basically. Guys, it's been such a long day. I'm ready to get back and chill and get some sleep, but thank you so much for following me and hopefully I'll see you soon. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.